All right. Everywhere in the world uses two ways to measure things. One is the smart way that everyone should use, and one is the stupid way that only three countries in the whole wide world use officially. Sadly for us, one of those countries that uses that is the United States, and we are attached to them. So we are forced to be able to deal with both still. Even though all the science and all the military in the United States is done in the other system, the smart system. But what are you going to do? The first system that I plan to discuss is the dumb one, which is the imperial system. As I said, practiced in three countries. Does anybody know them? You know one of them, United States. United States. And that's the problem. Can anybody name either of the other two countries? You will not get it in a million years. Well, you'll get it in a million years. There's only like 195 countries on the world. So eventually you'll get them. But I bet within 10 guesses and nobody looking at their phone, not one of you will guess either of the other two countries because they're that small. So that was an easy answer. No. There's a lot of small countries. Anyone want to take a guess? Cuba. China. No. I'm trying to think of a really small country. Cuba is a good guess, but no. Define small because of people. Why you got to be that way? That's like smaller than then that's everything but yes. Russia. So, yeah. Anybody got another guess? And if Russia keeps shrinking, maybe we'll end up <laughs> in charge. No, Russia had a shot at Alaska. They sold it for $7 million. Idiots. Canada didn't buy it. Even more idiots. Yes, that's why Alaska is a state. Nearly broke up Canada. Caused a lot of trouble. Cost part of what cost Wilfrid Laurier his prime ministership. First Francophone prime minister. All of you should know that. Yes, you should. Wilfrid Laurier was an important man. <coughs> Nobody? You're never going to guess anyway. One of them is Liberia. Does anybody know where Liberia even is? Africa. It is in Africa, indeed. You won't find it on many maps because it's that small. And the third country is, they call it Myanmar, but the rest of the world calls it Burma. No, Myanmar, yeah, well, wow. Uh, the Gaza Strip is nowhere near Vietnam, but Myanmar is. Myanmar is between India and China and, and the Vietnam, Kampuchea and Laos, Indochina area. Anyway, completely backwards ass country. <coughs> so tiny that nobody can even find it on a map. And then this guy. Sadly, like I said, we're attached to this guy, so we're forced to learn it. It's used mostly, though, in, um, in Canada. We still use it. We use it for what? What are some things we do with Imperial? Height. height. We say height. Now you'll notice that sometimes my pen will stop working, then the letters will magically appear, like the uh, uh, marshmallows in uh, Lucky Charms. They're magically delicious, which they aren't. They taste like little pieces of chalk. I don't know why people eat Lucky Charms. How many of you eat Lucky Charms? How many of you even eat cereal? Cereal has gone like way out of style. It's still good, but it's not. It's not doing as well as it used to. Hipsters would rather spend five ninety five on a breakfast shake for one meal than spend three ninety five on a whole box of cereal. I don't get it, but whatever. It makes booster juice happy. How many of you like the booster juice? Be honest. Damn right it is. It's powder and milk and water. All right. We use it for height, weight, 
And we use it in construction still. We talk about square footage and things like that. No one else in the world does. Now, strangely, if Czar was here, Zaro was in this class, we could ask him how he measures his height because he's from Montreal, which is in Canada. And you know what he'll say? Centimeters. Because Quebec is closely related to France. And France has done a lot of dumb things, done a lot of great things. One of the great things was it was the French that invented the metric system. We'll come back to that in a minute, though. The imperial system is based upon mostly body parts. Why is that idiotic? No two body parts are the same. So it is not standard. And that's part of the problem. That's why we needed to invent the metric system. Because back in the day, it depended on who was doing the measurement for how much stuff you had. One of the major problems of the French Revolution was the rich people in charge were charging taxes of, of the poor people. They were basing that on measurement things like how much grain you're pulling in your cart when you pull through their area. Well, depending on who did the measuring, sometimes you'd pay more or less. And it was difficult for the peasants and the peasant farmers to be happy, so they needed something standard. That's where the metric system actually came from. So, we use three things that we measure. Finger didn't go up there. Three things that we measure. We measure volume, area, and lengths. Actually, four, because we also measure mass. What are some imperial measurements that would go in any one of these categories that you can name? Go. Don't all ask at one, answer at once. It's hard to write that fast. Lena. Pardon me? Feet. Where would that go? In lengths, feet, excellent. Inches, what else? Anything else we use for length? Miles, excellent. Yards, whoo! Needed to leave more space there. Okay, anything more? Anyone? No, that's pretty good. What about one of the other ones? One of the other columns? That's metric. A cup. A cup. Ooh, nice. Cups in volume. We use cups in baking, yeah? Cup of flour. Cup of milk. Cup of sugar. What you borrow from your neighbor. Cup of milk. Cup of flour. Cup of sugar. Let's go make a cake. Gallon? Mm. Gallon would go in volume as well. Gallon. Can anyone think of another one? Pardon? Pound? That would go in mass or weight. Well done. Another one. It's just a brainstorm, guys. Just name them. I'll put them where they go if you can't tell me. You can always tell when I'm dealing with kids that are underage because there's another volume measurement there that Americans use all the time. Pint. We use it for beer. What about area? What about quartz? Quartz. That's another one for volume because that's a quarter of a gallon or two pints. Damaris. Yeah. All, almost all these lengths squared. But there's one more that isn't any of these. You guys will know that when you'll have heard it. Acres. I don't actually know what an acre is. I thought that's metric nope. Metric is hectares. I don't actually know what an acre is, but I know this. A baseball diamond with the outfield is about one acre. So that is what I, is a referent, which we're going to talk about again today. Because I don't actually know how big an acre is. Because... Huh? 
Okay. Sounds good. I believe you. But I don't know. Because it's a stupid way to measure stuff. True. Um, anybody think of any more mass ones? Pardon? Ounces. Ounces. Nice. Look at you guys. Anyone think of a bigger one than pounds? Where do we go up? Joy? Ton. Ton. But you got to be careful here. T O N. Just one N. Not ton. Which we're going to talk about in a minute. That's really decent. Most people, most classes don't get all those things. There are more, of course. There's a million ways to measure a million things, but those are the big ones that most of us have heard of and are familiar with, yeah? Okay. Let's move on to the good way to measure things. The Système International. Or SI or as we affectionately call it, the metric system, which is wonderful, except that it's for measuring everything, not just meters. So calling it the metric system isn't very fair to all the other measurements. And we like measurements to be in a safe space where everybody feels validated. So we don't really call it the metric system, we call it the SI system. And I just talked about it, it was invented in France in the 1700s during the French Revolution to standardize measurement so everybody knew what everything was. No matter where in France you were, a meter was a meter. Now, just out of curiosity, does anybody know how long a meter is? 100 centimeters. Great, how long is a centimeter? A hundredth of a meter. Not 10, 10, 10 millimeters. Ten. Great, how long is a millimeter? Um, 10 below. Micrometers, Micro great. All of that matter doesn't matter because all of that is comparing it to a meter. So how long is a meter? Uh, three feet? Yeah. No. Nope. Awesome. There's your first bit of homework tonight. How long is a meter? You're going to find out how long a meter is because it is not that because that's just changing the name. Still does not tell me how long it is. Well, I know, you, right? How do you want it then? Guess you're going to have to figure that out. It's part of being in pre-diploma. I'm going to expect 30 answers to that question tomorrow. You don't got to write it down or nothing. It's not like it's a project. But I want everybody to be able to tell me how long a meter is. Let's show it to you or... Let's... Surprise me. Excellent. Well done. The System International, just like it says, is a truly international system. Everywhere in the world, even places in the United States, even parts of the United States use metric. The System International. And it's awesome because <coughs> it is based upon the number system that we already use to count. What is our number system based on? How do we count? Zero, then what? One, up to what? No. Up to 10? Nine. What happens at nine? We add a digit because we have 110 with zero left over. What happens when we get to 20? Change it to two tens and zero left over. Metric system based is based on that, just like we count. So it's very easy to work with. It's based on 10, just like our number system. So since it's based on our number system, it's easy to use. And we're going to use the same four columns. Can anybody give me a volume measurement in metric? Liter, milliliter. Liter, milliliter. Centiliter. Centiliter, which is big in Europe, but not so much here. Oh, we don't use in Germany. It's, that's what we like to do in maps. You use centiliters? For some things. Yeah. Just wanted to confuse us by sending. Yeah. 
Yeah. We in Canada use liters and milliliters. We very rarely use centiliters. But in Europe, they do. Like if you get a pop in Europe, in some places, instead of being 330 milliliters, it will say 33 centiliters. Belgian beer is in that as well. So everyone's good with volume. Great. Those are liquid volumes, though. Do we measure physical volumes? I mean, solid volumes? What do we do for them? Cubic stuff. All the length things cubed, right? Great. What are the area measurements? Hectare. Hectare. I already gave you one. And then all the rest of them, square, meters, square, and so on. Good. What are lengths? There's a ton of them. Centimeter, kilometer, meter. Centimeter, km, mm. <laughs> What's the same in all of those? The M, which stands for what? So what does that tell you? That everything is based on the meter and tens of a meter in length. What's everything in volume based on? liters and tens or tenths of a liter weight what do we use for mass kilogram, kilogram, kilogram. milligram gram so what's the base over here gram. gram and everything is based on tens of that everything is based on tens if it's based on tens just like our number system that means i'm going to be adding zeros or moving decimal places, yes? Mm -hmm. And that is all I need to do for metric. It's that easy. You guys already know that. Now you just got to convince the Americans. Yes. Here is the order that works for everything in the metric system. The smallest one that we use on a regular basis is milli. Then the next one is centi. Then the next one is deci. And then you're at the base. We don't use deci at all. Very rarely. The se will show up in a minute. Okay? So whatever the base is, if we were doing length, this would be the meter, right? This would be a deci meter one-tenth of a meter. This would be a centimeter, one one-hundredth of a meter. This would be a millimeter, one one-thousandth of a meter. What's the next one down? Does anybody know? Micrometer. Nope. Micrometer. Micrometer, which is a ten-thousandth of a meter. What's below that? Nanometer. Anyone know below nano? Pico. Pico meter. All right. So is everybody cool with that? And that works with distances and everything else. All of these go by that. Gram, decigram, centigram, milligram. We don't use deci and centigrams, but we use milligrams and grams. Everybody cool? <coughs> now, obviously, we can go bigger than M, can't we? So I'm going to do those in green. Going upwards, there is deca, hecto, kilo. Oops, I forgot the base. Dumbass. From the base, we go up to deca, hecto, and kilo. So the base is meters, grams, liters, whatever. Deca is D-A-M. Hecto, H-M. Kilo, K-M. And it goes up by 10. Every time it goes up by 10, you got to move the decimal place one space. Every time you move the decimal place through an empty spot, what do you do? Add a zero. Everybody cool? Mm -hmm. So if I told you I had 10 kilometers, the 10 would go right there. And there would be a decimal right there, yes? So as I go down the scale, 
I'm adding zeros, which is weird, right? Because a hectometer is one-tenth of a kilometer. So I move it over and I add a zero as I go downwards. When I'm going up, it's the other way around. Everybody got it? Sweet. So, MMCM meters and kilometers. I'm using length because I can use anything in the metric system, can't I? This could be KMG, CG, G, and KG. It could be ML, CL, L, and KL, right? Whatever I want to use, the metric system always works using those prefixes. So this is my SI version. Now, I already used this word today, referent. Does anybody know what it means? Can anybody remember how I used it? Jazri? It's, a, it's like an estimate. It's something that you already know that you can use to give an idea of that distance. So my referent was a baseball field is about an acre for me. So the thing about reference is they are kind of like the imperial thing, right? You use something to measure something else, okay? So they're also personal. It's what works for you, all right? So what is, could be a referent for a millimeter? Millimeters, not very much, yeah? Anybody want to take a guess on something they could use to guess the length of a millimeter? Jesna. Fingernail is a really good one. We all have them. So it's easy to use. We're going to leave the relationship column blank for a moment. Centimeter. Jay, Jazri. Pencil what? That length? That? It's a pretty big centimeter. Somebody over here said it better. Width. width sure. Pencil width. Does that work? Depends on the pencil. If you got one of those stupid giant pencils from a souvenir store, wouldn't work very well. But this pen that I use right here is exactly one centimeter wide. So it'd be a good one, right? What's the point of reference? Do they have to be exact? No, they just help you make sense of things, yeah? What about a meter? Table width, okay. Anybody else got something? Very rarely am I carrying a table with me. I know what you're saying, Lena. I'm not putting you down. I'm just saying well, there's other things you can use. But you can always do this. As yep. Raised. Yep. Can anybody think of another? A step. a step? That's the one I like. What's a kilometer then? is notice what notice what our reference are here they're all things we have on ourselves yes does anything we have upon our persons is any of it a kilometer no so when we get to big refer big reference we have to think differently we have to measure it compared to something else for me personally for me a kilometer is about as far as i can walk in 10 minutes so I'm changing it. I use 10 minutes of walking. Maybe five minutes of running. Something like that. Now I've got the relationship side blank because the relationship has to compare two things, yes? And in the metric system, everything is compared to what? In the base. So where here is my base? meter so this is my base which means everything is compared to that right so a centimeter is one one hundredth or point zero one what's a millimeter one one thousandth or 
0.001. What's a kilometer? 1,000. And I don't need a decimal because it's just a thousand. And those are the ones that we in Canada use. Milli, centi, the base, and kilo. We very rarely use any of the others. Except hectares, we use quite a bit, which is 100 meters by 100 meters. We're going to talk about hectares when we get to area later on. Everyone should be pretty cool with SI, right? Now, you guys in Canada will also be fairly good with Imperial. If you're not from Canada, this might be a bit of a pain, depending on whether or not you were taught this stuff where you're from. I doubt, Lena, you were. I doubt this was ever brought up in German schools, because, of course, metric is infinitely superior. Um, those of you from Asian places, did you ever do anything with this? No, you didn't, did you? Because they're stupid, right? Why the heck would you measure something in feet or hands, which is how we measure the height of a horse? Yes, hands, which is wonderful if you have tiny little hands. Then your horse is 27 hands tall, like mine, my little sausage fingers. We actually did that in elementary school. We went around and measured the whole classroom for hands. Mm -hmm. It was awful. Yes. What if you were Shaquille O'Neal? How big's your horse? Yeah, I use Shaquille O'Neal because when I used to work at KFC, we gave away basketballs when Shaquille O'Neal was still playing basketball and all the basketballs had his handprint on them. And it's like the whole basketball. <laughs> My hand, it's like, it was like when, I know when you guys were in kindergarten, if you were in Canada, you did that thing where you put your hand in the plaster on the paper plate and it dried out and you painted it really badly and you brought it home and your mom was like, oh my God. And she probably cried a little. At least that's what happened to me. And then you find it when you're like 21 and you're cleaning out your parents' house when they die. And you reach down and you put your hand over the little five-year-old handprint and it's 20 times bigger. <laughs> that was what it was like. I put my hand on Shaquille O'Neal's hand and it looked like I was the five-year-old. Even though I was the grown-up because his hand was that big. You know what they say about guys with big hands? Big gloves. <sighs> Get your mind out of the gutter, Marley. <laughs> Whatever. All right. So we need some reference. What's a good reference for an inch? I'll give you a hint. If you speak French, there's a reason they use it. Does anyone know what inch is in French? Which is ironic because, of course, the French were the inventors of the other measurement system. But they still have a word for inch. Does anybody know what it is? Hmm? It's close. It's one of your fingers. Thumb. It is your thumb. So in French, it's un pouce. So your thumb is a really good reference. But only this part. Just where it bends. And if I were to measure mine, it is a hair too long but good enough for a referent. We're going to leave the relationship blank too because the relationship in the SI or in the imperial system is super idiotic. How long's a foot? What's a good reference for a foot? A foot. Or like Shaq's Yeah. Um, it's also a good one is elbow to wrist on most people. Elbow to wrist, right here. See, it's not quite, it's 20. On me, it's 25 centimeters, and foot's 30. But, yeah, I was about to say I'm not 30, and then foot yeah. wasn't work. Yard. <coughs> I would use a step again, because a yard and a meter are almost exactly the same. Yep. And mile? 1.6 kilometers, yes, so about... A kilometer and a half. So for me, what would that be if 10 minutes is a kilometer? 15 minutes walk. Unless you, of course, check your walking directions on Google Maps. 
I don't know who Google has hired to decide how long it takes to walk somewhere. But if you were to Google from here to the Abbotsford Public Library, which is just downstairs, and you were to say walking, it would say 85 minutes. I'm joking, it's not that bad, but it's pretty bad. It's unbelievable how slow whoever is in charge of Google thinks well, people walk. Well, actually what I think it is, Lena, it's the fact that because they work for Google, they're so lazy and lame that they don't actually know how to walk anymore because they've all got segways or <laughs> hoverboards or some stupid ass crap like that. Because all you think that working for Google is what real work's gonna be like. There's gonna be hammocks everywhere and video games. You're gonna be able to do whatever the hell you want. That's not what it's really like, but. Have you seen the internship? No. Yeah. I hear it's pretty funny. I watch a show on CBC where the main, one of the main characters just got a job at a company like that. Yeah, and it's pretty funny. You guys shouldn't watch it. There's all kinds of swearing and nudity and stuff in it. Do not watch it. Notice how I haven't even given you the title. It's on regular TV, though. It's weird. Every so often I'll be watching it and something bad will happen and my kids will walk out of their room because I'm watching something on regular TV and you don't think it's going to be that bad, but it is. All right. What do we do over here in the relationship? Where do we start? Pardon? Because there's nowhere you can start, is there? Because it's not standardized, is it? Right? If I start at an inch, if I make, don't write this down. If I make the inch the base, then what's this? Not 0.12, 12. That makes good sense, right? We count lots of things to 12, don't we? No, nothing, nothing but time, which is always a joke every year. They talk about changing to metric time, so it would be based on 10. You just wait, April 1st, you're going to be in this class. Somebody will make a joke about that. So if we make inch the base, because it's the smallest, this is going to be 12 inches, yeah? That's the abbreviation for inches, agreed? 12 inches will equal one foot with one little apostrophe. So then I get to yard. Now in metric, it's real easy, right? A centimeter is 10 millimeters, but a decimeter is 100 millimeters, right? It all works nicely. So this is 36 inches or, or sorry, I forgot to do, yeah, 36 inches or three feet. Because one and three and 12 and 36 make perfect sense for measuring things, yes? <laughs> and then we get really smart. What's a mile? Does anybody even know? Yeah, it's 1,763 yards, I believe. What? Of course, that makes good sense. <laughs> and in feet, it's 5,280 feet. Why not, right? That's easy to me measure. I think it's just 1,060, actually. I don't think it's 63 yards. And that just makes good sense, doesn't it? Count to 10, but do all your measurement with nothing standard. Logically, a yard should be something closer related to 12. But that's just, you know, logic. Now, something that is bad for you guys, that you're very bad at, is, as I said earlier, estimating. All right? So talk with your neighbor. And I want to hear what you would think are estimates in both systems, SI and Imperial, for all of these things, A, B, C, D, E, and F. Go. Talk to your neighbor, see if you can figure it out. Yep, that's what length is. This is always fun for me because I get kids saying things like the length of a pencil is a foot. 
That's the point, Lena. You guys are really bad at estimating and taking stuff into real life. I don't know. You've seen pictures of giraffes. That's why it says estimate. Don't tell me an, a giraffe is 10 miles tall. That's the point I'm trying to make here, Luke. Just like we were talking about yesterday when we were adding fractions. Just get something close. how uh, out to lunch you guys are on real life measuring without having, being able to measure it. Because I noticed all of you were getting a little stressed that I didn't view a ruler and a measuring tape. You were like, eh. stay cool. Stay cool, pre dip tens. All right, who's got a guess for the width of their locker in either measurement? Luke? Uh, imperial, Luke says it is one foot. What do you got? We got a 35 centimeter, which is slightly bigger than a foot. Yes. Anybody else? Everybody happy with those? Actual width of a locker in our school? 14 inches, slightly bigger than a foot. Nice job. Well done. Next, height of your desk. You already did one. There's 29 other people, Lena. Anybody? Anybody? Like Snape when Hermione's always got her hand up. Does anybody know the answer? Anyone? I'm looking for anybody to give me the answer. Anybody? Yeah? We got a meter. Do we have an imperial guess? Anyone? One yard? <laughs> Here, you can measure it. Get us the actual measurement. How's this thing work? It's like, wait, can you, is that inches though? Yes. So that's 30 inches? Yeah, 30 inches. 30 inches. Well, you know that a yard is 36 inches, so it's slightly less than a yard. But is it more, it's like less than a meter or more than a meter? It's less than a meter as well, slightly. How much? Length of your pencil. It's going to change for everybody. Give me one. Anyone. Anyone. <laughs> 10 centimeters. What's that in Imperial. Four inches. Excellent. Can't do an actual measurement because everybody's got different size. That's D. Length of an ant. Matters which ant you're looking at, yeah? Yes. Right? So somebody give me a good one. Three millimeters. Three millimeters? That's a perfectly reasonable guess. Wait a minute. Imperial. There's nothing smaller than an inch. I just said 0 .2. Absolutely right. Because Imperial, you got to know your fractions. And in case anybody cares, in the original Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, that was the size they got shrunk to, a quarter of an inch, if you've seen that movie. And you should have. It's a great movie, although it makes you cry. If you don't cry at one part in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, the original, you're dead inside. Now, just for fun... I always own the gang. So your guesses were them. Those are perfectly acceptable guesses. Height of a giraffe. Who's got one for me? Jayla, 30 feet. 
<laughs> 30 feet. 30 feet. 10 meters. What's yours? 18 feet? Not inches. 18 feet. What else? What do you got? 3.5 to 4 meters. 3.5 meters. Female giraffes are about that tall. Male giraffes get up to about 5 meters. Not 10, dude. That's like dinosaur size. Conjoined giraffes. Okay. Length of a gymnasium. It's a tough one. We got a gym. We got two gyms. How long are they? What you got? 35 to 40 meters in SI. Because, like, the chest is 25 meters and then usually the middle. Okay. What did Lena just do there? She used what? A referent. Bonus points for you, Marley. Anybody got an imperial? 50 yards. 50 yards. <laughs> I understand. That's another use of a referent, yeah. What fits almost exactly in the length of a gym? Using a sports reference. I was going to say a basketball court, especially at our school, since all anybody cares about here is football and basketball. How long is the basketball court? Yeah, it's like 90 feet. 30. So everybody, that's not too bad. You guys did pretty well with those. Um, so you're, you're not too bad at doing that. Nobody said that, well, the giraffe was a mile tall. Um, there are some badass giraffes in Jalem's world, though. 10-meter giraffe. Which makes me think, aren't we lucky that the dinosaurs were extinct? Because you, can you imagine walking, you're hiking in the woods, and you meet a black bear. You've already pooped your pants. Imagine turning around the corner and there's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. 60 feet tall of bone-crushing death. Right? That stupid little bell you carry isn't going to save you. I'm going to hair, I'm going to mace them. No, you're not. I personally am very happy because even if you walked around the corner and met a Stegosaurus, still be scary. Anyways, stegosauruses have the plates up the back and the spikes on their tail. Yeah. I am very happy that dinosaurs are extinct. And I think Jurassic Park should just go away. But that's just me. I did say Jurassic Park. Whose favorite animal? No, Jurassic Park, not giraffes. No, giraffes are not my favorite animal. They might be top 10. My favorite animal is elephants. Elephants are the best animals in the world. Why are elephants the best animals in the world? They bury their dead. The only other animal in the world that does that, other than humans. They take their babies back to the graveyards so they can visit with their grandparents. That's how much they care. Because they know that it's important to know your past. And because they're awesome. Except when they dust them. What? Did you know elephants can't actually run? Because that has recently been disproven. Is it? Due to very high speed photography, it has recently been disproven. Elephants indeed get all four limbs off the ground. But it's very recent. They also are tops at swimming, but people don't know that. Elephants are very good swimmers. Well, dude, their legs are wide and flat at the bottom, kind of like a paddle. <laughs> Who has some ideas to measure the circumference of my coffee cup? What is circumference? Oh. 
the distance around the outside of it. Great. What would you do, Luke? Uh, I would take a piece of string and put it around it and cut it so it, like, it perfectly goes around the coffee cup and then measure the string. String around. Excellent. How many people had that? Terrific. Who had another idea? What would you do, Marley? A bendy ruler. Okay. Who's got another idea? You could measure the radius and use math. Radius or diameter. And then use math. Now, let me ask this, Harmon. Harmon, right? Is that measuring the circumference or is that finding the circumference? It's finding. Understand the difference? Does everybody understand that difference? Okay. Nobody can think of another way to do it? Nobody? Okay. How does your car know how far it's traveled? It's the number of times the wheels spin. So could I not roll my coffee cup along? I wouldn't even need to dip the end in ink. I could just start it on a ruler and roll until I'm back straight up, right? Everybody with me? What's the point of the question? More than one way to get the job done. Now, next question. I use the word accurately and I say to measure it, but I don't tell you what to measure. How many people thought I meant the area of the glass door? That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. How would you do it? You could use a ruler if the glass door was perfectly flat. Hey, Miss McKenzie, how are you? What are you doing right now? We're measuring stuff. Measuring all sorts of stuff? Yeah. Everyone, do you all know Miss McKenzie? Yeah. Excellent. If you don't know Miss McKenzie, you should meet her. She's. Well. Okay. Uh, we're sorted out. I like that. Okay. So again, what do I mean? Also, what if it's curved? Could you use a ruler? No. Not a regular ruler, but if you had one of these flexi rulers that Marley's talking about, you could, right? What else? You could also again use a string. You could use a string again. So. The problem here is not measuring it. The problem here is what do you measure, right? When you say you have a 60-inch TV, what does that mean? 60 inches from one point to the other point. Diagonally across, right? But it's, we say it's a 60-inch TV. But is it? Only if we know that it's measured diagonally, right? So when I say measure the glass door of my toaster oven, can that be done? That's my point. That is the exact point to this question. Who decides the measurements of the toaster oven? The person doing the measuring. Does everybody understand? Okay. So this was a problem question. There's a problem here because measure what? Area? Length, width, the diagonal what? You don't know what you're measuring. Everybody cool? Okay, this is my favorite question. How might you actually measure the distance from the school office to this room? Actually. Because somebody, that's the key word there. Somebody always says, well, I get a copy of the blueprints and measure can you do that here? Why not? Yeah, they would. It's public record. We use $38 million of taxpayer money to build this thing. But I say actually measure. Is measuring on a blueprint and then doing math actually measuring? No. So again, how might you do it? If you didn't get to this, take a moment now and talk. You'd walk? Well, when you were saying use um, one step as a reference, then you could use that and go from the office up to this room. 
true, but if you use your steps, it doesn't use all the So you could count steps. Would that be accurate? Well, it would be accurate for you. So you'd walk like a tightrope? Okay. Damaris. String, again, a really long length of string and start walking. Now let me ask you this. Where do you walk? Which stairs? Well, those stairs, because those would take longer. What would you do, Jalem? Of course you'd throw it down the rotunda, because the actual distance from here to the office is a straight line through three floors, isn't it? Can we... Can we actually measure that? No. no. What can we measure? <coughs> the distance we would travel to get there. Does everybody understand? Right? You draw a straight line from here to the office, it's significantly shorter than how long it's going to take us to actually get to the office, isn't it? Again, precision is important in the question. What am I asking for there, yeah? Yeah. So string was a really good one. You could use one of those trundle wheels, which you guys use in physics. That's that wheel that you walk along, goes click, click, click every meter. I got one right there. Trundle wheel. How could you find it? You could do the blueprint thing. Lots of options there. Everybody good? All right. Measuring lengths can be done with many different tools. Name four. Everybody can come up with three super fast. I want a fourth. What are four things we can use to measure distances? Ruler. There's one. A meter stick is just a ruler. You can use one of those laser thingies that measures. Ooh, lasers. What else? Tape measure. What else? String. String. Trundle wheel. Anything else? The odometer. That's the odometer. An odometer is just a trundle wheel. All right, good, good, good. Now, let's actually apply this stuff. Remember, rulers and tape measures are split into sixteenths of an inch. Why? Because there's no measurement smaller than an inch, yes? So on a typical tape measure that you would see on a construction site, the big numbers are whole numbers. The next biggest line right there is what? A half. The next biggest line is what? A fourth. The next biggest line is what? An eighth. And the littlest line is? One sixteenth. Now believe it or not, measure reading a tape measure is apparently a lost skill. Tell me those four measurements, five measurements, in Imperial on the ruler. Go. And then when you do those five, you might as well do the next seven because that's all we're doing today. The second one's an inch two. Look closely. There you go. All right. What's the first one? One quarter. One quarter of an inch. What's this one? 
11 sixteenths. What's this one? One and three eighths. What's this one? Two and thirteen sixteenths. And what's this one? Can everybody read a tape measure? Nav, yeah. you left a bunch of mine here. I put them in DeVries' envelope. And DeVries'? <coughs> Do I need fractions here? Why? Because it's metric, so what can I use? Why can I use decimals? Because it's based on 10. So what's this? 11.4. What's this? What's this? Nice. And finally, there's trickery down here. What is the trickery? I'll wait a moment while you fill it out. I'm warning you, though, there's trickery. No. What's this guy? Five eighths. Good job. Why is it eighths? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This particular tape measure is not in sixteenths. It's in eighths. So what's this? Five and a half. What's this? Six and seven eighths. And what's this? Seven and a quarter. Is everybody good? All right. That's it for today. Make sure that you actually were able to do those two puzzle sheets. You can actually add and subtract and multiply and divide fractions.